Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making lasagna roll-ups in the Instant Pot. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. Now every single Monday I'm sharing a new Instant Pot recipe with you. So if you're a beginner, this is the perfect place to be. And even if you're a little more advanced, it gives you lots of ideas for recipes you can make in your Instant Pot. So today I'm making lasagna roll-ups. Now if you checked out my video from last Monday, you can find it right there, I made ground beef, frozen ground beef in the Instant Pot and just cooked it straight from there. So I'm actually using that ground beef in this recipe. If you don't have any ground beef that's pre-cooked, you can push saute and actually cook the ground beef in your Instant Pot. All right, you guys, let's head onto the kitchen and make these delicious lasagna roll-ups from your Instant Pot. So like I said earlier, in my previous Monday post, I posted on how to cook ground beef in the Instant Pot. So I'm using this pre-cooked ground beef. You can go to the link in that little dot, it will lead you to it. So I am using oven-ready lasagna noodles. Those are the noodles that you don't have to cook for the whole time or you can just put right into lasagna and they will cook all the way through. What I'm gonna do is going to break them in half so they will fit in your Instant Pot. All right, so now onto the Instant Pot. I'm pouring one cup of water in the bottom of my Instant Pot and I am just going to layer my noodles on top of each other. Now notice how they literally are on top of each other. That's okay, the Instant Pot makes it so they won't stick too badly together. Now I took the whole package and broke it in half and I'm sticking it in. Okay, so I'm gonna add more water so the lasagna noodles are pretty much all submerged in the water. Okay, now it's time to put the lid on, so I'll make sure it's sealed tight and that your little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Okay, so I'm going to push my manual button, then we're going to go to two minutes. That's all it has to cook for. Now, while that's cooking, I'm going to make my other stuff. So go ahead and add your one pound of ground beef into a bowl. Next, I'm just going to add my favorite tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, marinara sauce, whatever you use in your lasagna. This is a 24 ounce can of spaghetti sauce and I'm just gonna add about half of it in. Okay, so then mix your meat and your sauce together. You can add other things like spices or onions, whatever your family likes in your lasagna, but I'm just sticking to the basics right now. So next I'm gonna add ricotta cheese. Now this is 32 ounces of ricotta cheese. Now you can substitute cottage cheese if you want to, but I love ricotta cheese in my lasagna. And on top of the ricotta cheese, I'm gonna be adding mozzarella cheese. And then if you wanna add just a little bit, I like to add, of course, garlic salt. You can add normal salt and normal pepper just to give it a little bit more flavor. And now you're just mixing until it's well combined together. Now once you're all done putting together your cheese mixture and your meat mixture, your noodles should be about done. So the L appears when it's done cooking and it starts counting up. So I decided to do a quick release because I want my noodles out of there. Now when all the pressure has been released, go ahead and take the lid off and your noodles should be all the way done cooking. So I just cleared off my counter, made sure it was really clean, and I put my noodles just right on top of my counter with some tongs. And I just pulled out five or six at a time. So I'm just going to show you one and how I quickly do it and then I'll show you the process for the rest. So I just add about a, a spoonful of meat and then a heaping spoonful of the cheese mixture. Now I roll it a specific way so the cheese mixture is the last thing that's rolled up so it will actually stay together. Now these are kind of like half lasagna rolls so you really only roll them just a little bit but because you have the cheese mixture on the end it will stay together pretty well and then you're just going to put it into a 9 by 13 pan the seam side down. Now just so you can get a count, I had 20 lasagna rolls in total. Now this is the leftover meat that I had just a little bit and the leftover cheese, just a little bit more. So now I'm gonna take the rest of the spaghetti sauce and just dump it over my noodles. Then you just take a spoon and spread the sauce all around as even as you can on top of the noodles. And now it's time for the cheese. I just like to add mozzarella cheese and you can add as little or as much as you want. Now I'm not gonna put it on thick so you can't see the sauce but I'm putting on enough that you can definitely still taste it. 
Now I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I cooked it for about oh, 10 minutes. It's mostly just until the cheese melts because everything else is cooked in there. Now the one thing I love about these little lasagna rolls is that they are the perfect serving size. So you just put it on a plate, you eat, and you're good to go. All right guys, if you haven't joined my Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group, I'll put a link in the description for you so you can join it there. And thank you so much for joining me today on this Instant Pot Monday. I will see you later on this week. I'm having two videos going out on Wednesday and Friday. All right, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.